What's up guys? My name is Chris and I just want to make a quick little unboxing review video for this stuff that I ordered from Vapor95 along with a couple other things that I ordered from the Cloak store and the Jacksepticeye store. So I'm, I got most of it from Vapor95 and I wanted to do a video because I had trouble finding anybody who had had the same kind of experience or I, I just really couldn't find very much uh, review content on Vapor95 even though I've read a lot of really good things about them and obviously when you're uh, when you're taking that leap to buy something and you don't really I mean, you you, you want to kind of make certain that you're making a good purchase so I thought that I would make a video just to kind of cover some of the points that I was looking for that I couldn't really find because it doesn't seem like too many people have made videos covering Vapor 95 so I've only got the first part so far I ordered a graphic hoodie and a pair of graphic sweatpants and I also have a short sleeve and a long sleeve graphic t-shirt coming that haven't gotten here yet. Um, so a couple things really quick about the ordering process. I ordered them both October 10th and it's October 23rd and uh, so it took about 13 days or two weeks to get the first order and the second one hasn't gotten here yet. I haven't even seen that it's shipped yet. Um, once this did ship, it's priority mail today and it came in this bag like this. Um, so it, it got here pretty quick after it shipped. It was delivered by USPS. Um, the, the second order has not shipped out yet and I know that they make each order handmade. So some things take a little bit longer or shorter depending on what you get. Um, I, I really thought that the graphic hoodie would take longer, but hey man, I'm, I'm happy just to have it because I'm super excited to see what this looks like. It is kind of an expensive website, but at the same time, everything that I've heard and read is that it's well worth it and that everybody wants to go back. And to be honest, I had a lot of trouble controlling myself, not just getting a lot more. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I'm still waiting on the cloak order. Uh, with cloak, I ordered it the same day, October 10th, and it... Uh, it is it only had one option for shipping it was just flat ten dollar shipping and it's actually been at my local post office for about four or five days now uh, so the i don't know if it's the same with every cloak order but they use usps mail innovations which is a really crappy kind of mail service so basically usps ships it or ups i'm sorry ships it and then they, in the middle of the process, transfer it over to USPS, and then USPS is the one that ends up delivering it. And obviously, it's it's mostly a problem with just the change of hands. Uh, USPS has had those sweatpants that I ordered from Cloak for about four days, four or five days now at the post office, and it was actually supposed to be out for delivery today. It didn't get to me. Hopefully, it'll get here tomorrow. I'm going to end up having to come back and film uh, probably three different times when I get the cloak, um, the cloak sweatpants and the Jacksepticeye clothes I actually already got. I'm not going to be able to unbox them, but I kind of wanted to give a little bit of a review of the quality and what I think about them. I, I like them a lot and uh, I don't know if I'm going to cover that right now. I want to run them through the washer real quick before I can show them off, but uh, it was the Lunar Sand design and it was really cool. So I'm going to check those out, show you later in the video, but I'm really excited to open this. So after all of that talking, I'm excited. So this is what it, uh, this is what it came in, this kind of white bag like this. And I'm gonna open it up. Now if you, uh, if you stumble across my channel, I just started my channel recently, I'm making gaming videos really, mostly, but um, as my name says, Ditch the Niche, I'm, uh, I wanna make a lot of different types of content. I thought this would be cool to do. All right, so you got the packing slip inside. I'm sure you can see that. Just a return packing slip if you need it. It's got the receipt. Don't care about that. We've got two separate bags for the sweatpants, the joggers, and the hoodie here. So they come in these little plastic bags like this. Um, it is sealed. You have to open it up. I guess we'll open the hoodie first. I just kind of want to see what kind of material it's made of, whether it's uh, really worth the money, if it's like cheap texture, quality, how the print looks. All right, so it definitely is kind of soft fabric. Well, you can tell that it's printed, but it definitely, it doesn't seem cheap. This is thick. I don't know if you can see this. This is the hood that I'm looking at right now. It's definitely kind of a, a thick fabric. You can tell that it was cut from separate sheets of fabric and then sewn together. 
Um, it's definitely a really quality stitching. I don't see any problems with the stitching. If you can see that, it kind of goes all the way through down there. It's really solid and uh, you've got like a thick, thick line right there. Sorry, I don't think that's auto focusing, but um, yeah, so that's the hood. We've got these drawstrings or kind of like a fabric-y, almost like a shoelace. It seems like a shoelace kind of texture. And let's look at it. Wow, this is a really cool design. All right, so I'm gonna stand up kind of and show you. This is what it looks like. I got this lithosphere design. I know there are several different artists that uh, have different styles on there. It looks really cool. I hope you can see, it looks like you can see um, the color pops really, really well off of this. You've got like the, the color in this, this circle right here is popping really well. Um, all over it almost looks like a watercolor kind of prism pop. And something I've heard about Vapor 95 is that their whites are really shiny. It definitely does well. I'm sure it depends on what design, but with the mountains kind of, if you can tell this is a mountain kind of upside down and then it's the same on the bottom, but it definitely gives contrast to the, the snow inside the mountain. So this is really cool. I'm definitely gonna try it on. Uh, the cuffs seem really quality. I like the way this design fades kind of down the sleeve. You've got fabric cuffs, if you can see that, hopefully. It's kind of stretchy material, but it seems really comfortable. And then, Got the pocket, the pocket seems solid. I don't know if you can see that. It's definitely got a really big, nice size pocket. I got a large. Um, and then this fabric on the inside is definitely, let's see. I don't see any problems with the stitching so far, um, but this, this is definitely really quality fabric in there. It's really soft. It feels like it's gonna be a really warm jacket to wear probably, uh, but hopefully not too hot. It's uh, definitely thick, but this definitely is really thick quality material. Um, let me go ahead and look at the sweatpants. I hope I'm not carrying on too long either with the explanation. I'd like to do more videos like this, but I definitely uh, still figuring it all out. So if you got any feedback, let me know uh, what points you might want to get hit. Uh, so these are the sweatpants. We've got uh, the design. You've got these stripes on the bottom. Those aren't any kind of extra material sewn to them. That's actually just printed on there. It's got the stretchy, the uh, the stretchy kind of like cuffs at the bottom, and then the the uh, this little watercolor print kind of carries off into the stretchy material, which is really cool. So you've got that seamless design. Um, so these aren't like a these. It's a, it's a good material. It's it's not like the kind of like soft wool or, or cottony kind of sweatpants that you might run through the washer and then end up like getting little fuzz balls on. This is definitely a really smooth, I don't know, I think that's polyester. I'm not, I'm not like great with the materials, but it's definitely shiny. It's definitely like, feels like you could just run your hand across it, but it seems also like something that would hold up really well in the wash. And I'm definitely, uh, we'll get back to you guys and let you know how that turns out after washing it a couple times. Uh, but yeah, the stitches on the inside here are really nice. It's the same kind of fabric. If you can see just like that soft kind of like flat fabric that doesn't have any kind of fuzz or anything coming out of it. It's just like flat, smooth. The stitching is super solid. I don't see anything coming out on the inside. Uh, got the same kind of shoestring type shoestring type drawstrings there. I don't know if that's focusing or not. I'm sorry if it's not, but uh, but yeah, the, the waistband is kind of the same material, but a lot stretchier. Seems like maybe a little bit thicker than what's on the cuffs, the cuffs of the, uh, the jacket in the bottom here. Uh, the, uh, let's see, the pockets are super solid. These are actually really good pockets. So like, You've got the front part. The pockets are kind of on the side here. It seems like a good position. Like you don't have to reach way back to put them in. And they're definitely super wide. And if you can see here, it's cut out really well. Like it, they, they definitely did a good job of cutting out the shape of the pocket right there. And then it comes up along here and it's thickly, you can see the seam between the outside fabric and what I guess is the inside fabric of the pockets right there. And uh, the texture, the pattern kind of carries off into the, inside of the pocket too, if you can see that. 
But yeah, these are thick. Aside from just the material quality, this is a really cool print. I'm definitely super happy with these. They definitely are gonna pop a lot when you wear them and I feel like they're gonna match really well. Um, it is kind of a shinier texture to the fabric, like I said, but at the same time, it's not anything that would be distracting or that you would really notice. I definitely wanna try them on first and, and I definitely think with the, the thickness of the fabric that they're gonna fall really nicely. Um, so yeah, let me go try those on and I'm gonna come back and show you what they look like and how they wear. Okay, so these are the sweatpants. They look really cool. Hopefully I can fit them all in frame. I really like this design for one, first off. Uh, I decided to try it on separate from the hoodie. I feel like it just matches with this black hoodie. I know you can't really see it right now. But um, these are definitely really sick. I, I don't know if you can, I don't know if I'm, I'm getting a really big echo right now. I'm, I'm sorry if the sound quality is kind of crappy. I've got a weird setup because I'm in the process of moving at the moment. But um, but these are super cool. They um, The fabric on the inside is definitely really soft. The pockets are big and comfortable. Uh, they don't have much, they're not too stretchy, but that's really good, I feel like, because this fabric, um, it doesn't feel like it's gonna shrink. Um, one thing I'll say is that I'm 5'10 and or 5'11 and I got a large and I hope they don't shrink because it does feel kind of like they would if they got any shorter that they'd pull up but you know actually looking at them now I've kind of got this little baggy crease going around the, the heel and I've still got a good good uh, little bit of wiggle room right there before it gets to my heel so this actually is kind of the perfect size for getting a large for me um, like I said hopefully it doesn't shrink I think these look really cool. Obviously, you've got the Vapor 95 logo right there. Um, the kind of marbled texture going down the side. And uh, yeah, you definitely have to match it up with the right thing, but I think this would look really sick. I'm gonna show you guys the Lithosphere jacket now. All right, so now here we have the hoodie. This is, um, it's really cool. I like the design a lot for sure, if you're really just wearing it. It's definitely something that um, that you would want to wear, I guess, obviously for the style, which is this kind of what you can say for all of these clothes. But um, one thing I noticed when I put it on is that the material, this material really holds its shape well. Like you can see with the hood, for example, it, uh, it holds that perfect shape. So I've got to kind of like fluff it out and let it kind of It'll kind of stick out like this. I'm sure that'll change after wearing it for a little while But um, like like what I'm trying to say is you can see if I if I kind of crease the pocket like that this material This is kind of fabric. That's just gonna fold up It wants to stay straight if you see what I mean like I do um, That's obviously I guess something that you would come to expect with graphic with a graphic design but um but I don't know. I kind of like I kind of like my hoodies to be a little bit more softer, like cotton, I guess. So you just got that kind of like bagginess, and this is definitely something that's gonna you can feel the fact that you're wearing a graphic material. But with that being said, it's um it's not anything that's annoying or that would definitely be a uh, like a, a deal breaker because it, it's definitely comfortable. It's warm. The material. Like, I'm not going to be wearing it and just thinking, oh man, I've got this graphic tee. Like, you can't feel print anywhere. It's uh, it's not layered after it was made, obviously. It is printed physically on the stuff, so it's not going to fade. Or as I wouldn't think it's going to fade or anything. Um, it definitely looks super nice the way it fades into the bottom here. And then you've got this stretchy, stretchy material around the bottom. And then around the sleeves, it fades kind of seamlessly into the, the design. I know that's kind of specific to this design, but uh, but yeah, and then you've got these shoestring kind of drawstrings. I did get a large with this too. I normally wear large shirts and you know, you never kind of, you never know with uh, what brand you're ordering, what you should go with. But I think this is a good size. It, it's a little bit big, maybe it, um, I mean, I'm like, I, I'm probably a medium weight range, but it definitely kind of has extra room on the sides. It's a little bit baggy, but at the same time, you know, when you go out wearing this, you're probably not going to be really worried about a little bit of bagginess. I definitely would not want it. I don't like stuff being tight to my body, so I'm definitely happy with it. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to try them on separately because I don't feel like they really, I don't feel like they really go together. The designs I got are kind of clashing. But um, this is definitely a cool design. I'd be happy to wear this out. I think it looks sick as sick as hell. Um, the uh, the pants are obviously super cool, and yeah, I feel like if you order this 
you will be happy with what you got, especially because anything that you get off of that website, you're gonna be, you're, you're getting because of the cool kind of out there design. One thing that's kind of cool is like in, in the sky here, you can see almost these cotton candy colors blended. I don't know if the light is too intense there. You see a little bit of blue right there and then it kind of blends in with the pink. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. These colors really pop, like in, in the, uh, the quality of the print is excellent. And that's something that I've seen everybody say. Uh, but yeah, I just know that uh, one thing that I wondered about when I was wanting to order it is what kind of material it was, if it was a kind of annoying, fake material feeling. And the thing is, it's thick. You're obviously going to have a little bit of that kind of polyester feel because they print it right on. But at the same time, it's definitely super high quality. The stitching is excellent. The material, the build quality is excellent. I feel like it's going to hold up and not shrink. The material on the inside is super, super soft and comfortable. And I feel like it was a great purchase and definitely worth the money and it's awesome that they hand make it this pocket is really nice too i hope i'm not talking on too much about it <laughs> but uh i just want to make sure that i cover every point and kind of give you a, as much of a an idea as you could possibly want to have before you go into that purchase all right so now i'm here back with the cloak uh the cloak joggers that i ordered uh, i didn't really get much from cloak just one pair of joggers uh the red crystal i think it's crystallized uh, line that they're doing but it actually showed up the day after I got that first order from vapor 95 which was the hoodie and the sweatpants and I'm gonna go ahead and open it came in this bag it was U USPS it went out for shipment it went out for delivery yesterday but it ended up not getting delivered but that's really just UPS's or USPS's fault but uh, overall it took 14 days I ordered it the same day as that first order from vapor 95 so two weeks there's no option for faster shipment, so that's not too bad. But I am excited to see what they look like. Cool, okay. So I've seen this before. You've got a cloak sticker right there. And the shipping label, which obviously we don't need. But uh, this is cool. The cloak, the cloak uh, label on the back says uh, we are a not so secret society of misfits hidden in plain sight under the cloak bound by shared passions and values welcome all hashtag hidden in plain sight okay and and then this is funny it says uh they've got their uh they've got their number there i don't know if my camera's focusing or not but uh but it says don't you dare text us i think that's funny all right cool so we've got these sweatpants here they're all wrapped up in a bag Got them sealed up for me. I'm gonna crack them open. Just wanna see like what quality they're selling, you know. They are expensive. So this is cool. These are uh, these are really soft. I really like this material. This is definitely definitely more cotton, cottony. 80-20% cotton polyester. So it's 80% cotton, 20% polyester. I think that's a good balance. The uh, Those Vapor 95 sweatpants are straight polyester. So, um, so these are red. They've got the little crystal fragment design over here on the side. And then I've got the cloak logo over here. They, it looks kind of fractured. Um, it's got kind of like a bluish silver uh, ink on there, which is cool. All the stitching looks really solid. Hopefully you can see it and try to show you around a little bit. I do notice a couple little spots, like right here, you've got some hairs on the back of the waistband here. A few little threads coming out. I'm sure that can be cut, but I don't know if that's gonna end up spreading out. And you've got the cloak logo on the shorts back here, on the pocket, I mean. Uh, you've got a couple more little loose threads right here. I guess so. I guess the threading is not really perfect, but at the same time, the quality, the material is really nice. This is a thick waistband, so I feel like that's going to hold up really well. Um, it's going to be really comfortable, probably. It's got a nice big pocket just on the back side, and the material inside is really comfortable. This is where it feels like it's going to be comfortable. It's really soft. Uh, the stitching here, you can see, this is the back pocket where it's stitched in and it's super solid. There's no seams or anything coming up out of it. Uh, it looks like a good length for sure. 
These pockets are nice. Overall, the material is super, super nice. I'm gonna try it on and tell you how I, uh, how I feel about them and how they look. Okay, so here we are back at it with the red joggers. Uh, okay, so right off the bat, they're super, super comfortable. These are super soft. Uh, they're baggy. I know one of Cloak's big things is that they're, uh, they market themselves as a, a clothing brand for gamers, which I know there's a lot of mixed feedback on, on that theory. I don't, I'm not too worried about their marketing strategy, but uh, they are definitely really comfortable. Um, got a really good length down here to the side. You get kind of like a nice bagginess. Now again, I got a large with these. Um, I'm five foot eleven, and uh, they kind of like crunch up a little bit on the on the bottom here, which I really like though because I feel like that uh, just gives you a little bit of freedom and wiggle room, knowing that it's not just about to ride up your leg or anything, but it's also not hanging down. It's got kind of just the perfect amount of like pinch down on your ankle. Uh, I haven't tied these drawstrings yet. They are kind of a, a nice quality, not really shoestring, but maybe like there are some kind of quality shoestrings like this that you would see. Uh, they're kind of stretchy like that and thick. These, uh, these pockets are really nice. You got really deep pockets, so you definitely would feel comfortable carrying around several things if you need to. And you definitely can tie this drawstring up really tight if you need to hold it. Hold your, hold them up if you've got heavy stuff in your pockets, but you've got a good thick waistband. That cloak logo on the back looks really nice. And yeah, overall, I like these a lot. The, uh, the design is cool. It's really subtle, but at the same time, you know, if you pick up on it, it looks really nice. They're definitely gonna match well with anything that would match with red. And they've got a really nice shape. Not too baggy, but that kind of just like, comfortable scrunch to them. You know, I feel like you could move around real easily. You could work out really well in these probably. They don't look just baggy like pajamas. I don't know, maybe with a little bit of wear, they'll hang a little bit looser. But they've definitely got a nice kind of like, slim, athletic, but baggy and comfortable fit. It's a really nice combo. And you've got a nice, nice thick waistband too. So yeah, I'm super happy with these. We've got a couple more shirts to, or uh, just clothes in general to try on. And as soon as they're ready, I'll jump back over here. All right, so I finally got the last package. It's November 12th, so it's been about a month, a month and two days. So uh, October 10th was the day I ordered it. Um, but it came in a little soft plastic bag, nothing too fancy. This first class package service, after it shipped, it took about three days to get here, I think. And go ahead and open it up. It should have two shirts in here. I've got a long sleeve shirt and a short sleeve shirt. All right. Ooh, they gave me a free mask. Hey, I was hoping that they would give me something for ordering so much stuff. Cool. So I got this sticker too. Okay. Hopefully you can see this. I've got autofocus on. I've got uh, a Vapor 95 sticker. I've got a mask. It looks cool. I don't know that it's exactly the design that I would have chosen, but that's cool. So I've got an extra mask if I need that. And then I've got the two shirts here. They're not wrapped up in any kind of extra bag, but uh, I just fold it up. Let's see how they look. So I got this duplicity shirt. Can you see it? It's got this design, the two-sided person or two-headed person, I guess. Uh, this design on the arms. Let's see if you can, I can't open it up. I'll show you better when I, when I try it on, but you got those waves kind of on the side. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it seems a similar material, like a polyester material to the other stuff, but it's definitely a little bit more soft and like shirty feeling, like it's not as thick and, like silky polyester as the uh as the jacket is actually wait this is 100 percent cotton okay well never mind i was kind of looking a little bit close into the seam here but the print the print is super solid uh it looks legit it's not like it's not like that sticky kind of texture that kind of can get like laid on it afterwards with some places let's see on this sleeve it says duplicity I'll have to open up the sleeve. Let's see. Duplicity, I think that's cool. Uh, but yeah, looking at the stitching, I don't see any problems with the stitching. Maybe that little tiny, tiny little bit in the collar there. 
but nowhere else. Everything else is super solid. I'm excited to try this on too. These shirts look super sick. Uh, but yeah, the stitching on the inside is cool. It's got the plain white back design. I'll show you again. I'll show you again when I try it on. Um, I've got another sticker. So I guess they, they give this kind of tag sticker with it. Uh, scan this QR code to download our app for exclusive sales and notifications. So I got a thank you note with a QR code um, that was on top of this other shirt. And this is the other shirt that I'm excited to check out. This is the, uh, I forgot what this one's called. But uh, this is the short sleeve shirt, 100% cotton. It's called uh, Don't Look or something, or like Observation. I can't remember what this is called, but uh, <laughs> it's super cool. It's got this kind of anime comic book style or like manga kind of art on it. This is super soft too. And I'm happy too that both of these are made of cotton because I was really hoping that uh, I didn't want that kind of like polyester fakey fabric feel which like is cool for the sweatpants and the hoodie but for shirts I think it's a lot more comfortable to be cotton. We've got a little bit of a a little bit of a one thread coming off there but uh no big deal. The print on this let's see I try to do it where you can see this and get your camera angle down here a little bit. The print is super solid. It, it, it was really well done. I mean, I've seen the video online of uh, how they kind of roll it through with a big press to try to get the, the image printed perfectly on there. It doesn't have any kind of like, it, it's soft to wear. Like when you wear it, you don't feel the print on it. So this is super high quality. Um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna try them on and show you how they look. All right, so this is the Duplicity shirt. It fits really comfortably. Uh, I like this a lot. Uh, uh, the sleeves are, are really concise. They fit well, there's no baggage down here. You can see that design on the side, Duplicity. Over here, you just got waves. It fits really nicely. You can see up around my shoulders, it fits really solidly. Uh, the, uh, the way it hangs is comfortable. It's not too baggy, it's not too loose. This is a large. Um, I'm 5'11", so if that gives you any kind of range, I weigh about like 165 or so, if that gives you a judgment of how it'll fit on you. Yeah, it's, it's tight up here, not tight, it's like the perfect, like what I mean is like it's not hanging up, it, it hugs, it fits your body really well. Yeah, I like this a lot. The, the material is super soft. I'm super happy with it. It passed all of the things that I was looking for. I'm gonna go try on the short sleeve shirt and we'll see how that fits. All right, so this is the other shirt. Um, this is super comfortable, and like, I'm just gonna be honest, I'm super happy with this. I, I made this video under the presumption that the, the quality might not be exactly what you expect in spite of everyone giving it such high praises, but I'm super, super happy with this. Like, these are shirts that I'm gonna wanna wear all the time. Fits perfectly. I don't feel like I'm hugged. It's comfortable as hell. This is like 100% straight cotton. Both of these are cotton. Um, so it's not that weird, annoying polyester feeling. Hopefully the light in here is fine. I don't really have much of a setup to, to model these clothes for you, but <laughs> they, uh, they're they super comfortable. This white pops, but it's not annoying. It, it kind of has that comic book kind of texture to it. Sleeves are comfortable. I feel like it breathes really well. I've got no restriction of mobility, really. Yeah, I don't I don't really know what else to say other than it fits really nice, it's super soft. Their clothes are expensive as hell, but thankfully the shirts are a little bit more affordable, so I'm happy with my purchase, and I think you will be too. All right, and finally, I've gotten around to showing off this Jacksepticeye gear. And I don't know what to say about this other than I love it. I think that this hoodie is sick. I love this lunar design. I love the same design right here. I wish I had gotten the mask for it because it would look dope matched up with the set. This hoodie is super, super comfortable. It's cotton. Um, the, the matching sweatpants are super duper comfortable. As you can see, they match up really well. Uh, the the sweatpants are super comfortable. They uh, they're they're not too baggy, but that kind of loose casual fit that you'd want. They perfectly fit what you would picture if you want to be comfortable, but you don't want to look like you're just walking around in sweatpants. Hopefully, you can see this pretty well. 
The pants themselves are very comfortable. The, the print on both the sweatpants and the hoodie, here you see the, the print on the chest here and the arms. When I first got them, you could see a little bit of chalky material kind of coming off of them a tiny bit, but nothing noticeable. Um, but after a couple washes even, I haven't really noticed anything peeling off. The, the line is completely filled in still everywhere. The, uh, the feel of it is really nice and soft. You don't really notice it, but it's perfectly centered on both sides. The, um, the print on the front and the legs match really well. And all I can really say is that these are super comfortable. You don't look lazy or anything walking around in them. They, they fit really nicely. They're, they're loose enough to where to you, you're gonna feel super comfortable and able to move around. But at the same time, you don't look like you're just walking around in baggy sweatpants. So I think this is a really aesthetic set and I think that you will be really happy if you get these. It says a lot for Jacksepticeye's merch for me if you're considering buying anything else from them. Every, and what I've gotten so far has been satisfactory. So I figure I could go ahead and go over these masks really quick as well. We've got the, um, the Vapor 95 mask that they sent me for free. Uh, and I've got this positive mental attitude mask that I actually bought myself from Jacksepticeye's website. Um, I figure I might as well show you these because I mean it's pretty relevant these days. The one first that they gave me for free from Vapor95 has got this kind of like floral colorful design and it's super soft. It's really stretchy and comfortable. Um, feels almost kind of like the material that I guess like a bathing suit bottom might be made out of but it's really stretchy and uh, it fits nice. I'll show you that. <laughs> It looks pretty cool. This is kind of like a crazy looking design a little bit, but it's not bad. And you've got this one from Jacksepticeye. I've actually been wearing this one for the last uh, last several weeks since I got it. I like this one a lot. Um, it's a lot more comfortable than any other mask that I've had so far. Uh, the inside of this is a little less stretchy, but it's also, it, it looks almost like it's got like two layers. It's got this kind of like material that's also kind of like swimsuit material and um, there's an outer layer that's a lot softer and it uh, it's a little bit thicker. I noticed while I'm wearing this mask that like people can't really hear me as well. I have to speak up a little bit more, um, but it, it's not too bad. Nothing more than any other mask you would, you would notice and uh, it breathes pretty well. Like this second layer here gives it kind of a, a more clean, substantial feeling. And this is how this one looks. I feel like this one, I don't know if you can tell, the way it muffles my voice but I really like the way it fits it comes way up over your nose it gets good coverage down underneath your chin and it's super comfortable like this one it, it it's not fabric that's gonna stick and cling right to your face it's really breathable and I don't know I like this a lot so if you're thinking about getting a mask from anybody Jacksepticeye and Vapor 95 got some good ones so just to go back and recap on everything after getting a little bit of use out of it, the Jacksepticeye merch I really loved. These cloak sweatpants that I got from Mark Plier and Jacksepticeye's cloak store, I love a lot. They're super comfortable. Um, I love the way that they grip around my legs, but they still have that looseness down here. I like the way they kind of come down and have a little bit of baggediness there. The, the pockets are super big and comfortable. They've got nice thick drawstrings. Um, something that I, like, that I did notice after a little bit is there is a little bit of loose stitching. There was a spot like here along the legs where a little bit of stitching came loose that I had to cut with some scissors. And then I noticed here on the, I don't know if you can see this, but there's like a little bit of cotton that keeps coming out that I keep pushing back in from the drawstrings. But I'm assuming that's just like a little bit of extra length to it that needs to keep being pushed back in. But yeah, just to go back and recap a little bit, I love these sweatpants a lot. I also love this long sleeve shirt that I got. It's very comfortable. And I, I really love these sweatpants too. In spite of my drawbacks about polyester, I think that the design is super solid. They look really nice. They're super soft. Like in spite of, like I, I, like I said, I, I don't really like polyester, but these, um, they're super soft. And then on the inside, the material and lining on the inside is very soft and comfortable. The pockets are really sizable, well-made. There's no issues with the stitching on these or, or any of the, the clothes that I've gotten really, but these are super comfortable and fit well. It's a little bit different, but I love these very much. The shirt I love, it's super soft and comfortable. It's breathable, it's not 
it's not any kind of weird material. This, this feels like really high quality material. And then you've got the hoodie, which like the like the sweatpants is is kind of that weird polyester material. Uh, the the hoodie I feel like is the 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 one thing that I have to kind of help myself get over. Just reminding myself that it doesn't bother me. Obviously, if you're wearing a graphic hoodie like this, you're gonna be you're you're just gonna have to accept the fact that it's made of polyester. That's how they get that quality print. But at the same time, there's no complaints with it whatsoever. The stitching on the sleeves is really quality. The uh, the stitching in the pocket is really solid. The drawstrings are really nice. The material on the inside and the stitching all around the hood is very high quality. Um, the print is lined up everywhere. And yeah, there's there's nothing wrong with the build quality whatsoever. I love the print. Um, yeah, so hopefully that gives you an idea of everything. I know that this isn't really a, a professional review. I haven't really ever done this before, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what to expect if you're going into buying any of, from any of these merchandisers, Jacksepticeye, Cloak, Vapor95, like I am, without any kind of expectation. With that little recap out of the way, that's about everything. Um, hopefully, I kind of went over all of the questions that you might have had if you're considering getting into any of these clothes. I know that this was by no means a professional review. This is the first video I've done with anything like this. Uh, like I said, for, for the most part, I'm, I'm working on making gaming videos and stuff kind of like that. But uh, hopefully, I could answer some of your questions if you were looking into getting anything from any of these merchandise stores like Cloak, Jacksepticeye, Vapor95. And if you were wondering kind of what the material or the results were going to be or the timing was shipping, I hope I was able to answer your questions. Um, if you're interested in checking out games or anything like that, I, uh, I've got some Let's Plays on my channel. I just started, so I really don't know what I'm doing <laughs> so far. But uh, I appreciate your feedback and your support. And if there's anything else you'd like to see, give me some feedback. I'd love to jump on it and get started. This YouTube thing is really exciting for me. And I don't know where to start, but... I'm jumping into it. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.